hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so as you know that in the previous video tutorial we left here okay and we were about to display all the friends that is we were working on the friend list so now after this static class friends you holder what we gonna do all we need is a firebase recycle adapter so come here and now inside our own create method after this my friend list we are going to call a method here which we will create now and that will be to display all friends display all friends and now let's create this method and our method is created successfully and now inside that method we can say firebase recycler adapter now it needs two parameter one is the module class which is the friends and the second one is the static class which is the friends view holder friends view holder and let's call this a firebase recycler adapter and that should be equals to new firebase recycler adapter and alongside with that popular view holder method is created but before moving to that make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this popular view holder first as you know that this firebase recycler adapter here it needs uh, four parameters okay so we have to pass that four parameters here so the first one is the module class so we can say the first one is the module class is the friends so you can say friends dot class and the second one is the layout which we will be using for displaying the friends so we have this all user display layout which we already uh, make in the previous tutorial which we create in the previous tutorial when we were searching for our friends and when we were displaying the friend i mean all the all the users who are using this social network that is this one i mean the layout okay let me show it to you from here which is all user display layout you can see that so this one is the layout okay which about which i am talking about so basically here we will also display the same so there is no need to create a new one okay so what we're gonna do we are displaying to this we are displaying the profile picture and the user full name and the date instead of status we are going to display the date okay so don't do any change here okay just follow each step which i am doing now so now go back to the friends activity dot java and here uh, the second parameter it needs is the layout so we can say r dot layout dot all user display layout and the third parameter is need is the friends view holder class so you can say friends view holder dot class and the fourth one is the database reference to our friends node so let's create a reference first so here we are going to say private and we are going to call it a, uh, I mean this is the database reference and we are going to call this as friends reference and also we will be needing a user ref just to fetch the profile picture from the users node so we can uh, create a users ref here also and to get the online user as you know that we will be needing a firebase auth so we can say firebase auth and let's call this as m auth as usual and let's create a string type variable just to get the online user id so we can say string that is the user that is let's say i am now using the app so i am an online user so we can call this as online underscore user underscore id so yeah that's it so come down here to the on create matter and first we need to say m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance so now we can get the online user id get you id now let's uh, reference the friend reference I mean let's link it so you can say friend ref equals to the child and the child will be the friend ref as you know that friends 
make sure to use the same name which we give here okay which is this friends not f r i e n d s dot child and the child will be the online user id so we are searching for the user who will be online okay so we will display only the friends of that user that specific user and then we have a user ref so instead of writing it i will copy this up to here and i will paste that here dot child users so yeah that's it now come down here and here pass the friends ref which is our fourth parameter as i told you earlier so this is our friends ref now how it will works let me show it to you guys that is as you know that i am now signing in using my own account which is mohammed ali and this is my id so i am now currently friend with four people okay these are the ids of that person okay if i show you go to the users node and my id is gqol okay gqol and you can see that this is mohammed ali and now i am friends with these ids which is 37 o u and let me show you step by step so one is mohammed aves and the second one is o u which is this one which is mohammed ali Sher, and the third one is e h which is uh, this one which is Amon Ford and the fourth one is ZNOP which is uh, this one which is Mohammed Gulsher so you can see that I am now friend with four, uh, four people which is this one and if I expand it then it show me the debt that is on which debt I become friend with this person okay so you can see that so how it will work I will uh, I was about to explain these things so first as you know that we uh, we have created a reference to the friends node and this is the online user id which is my id basically now we are going to get these ids which is this 37 o u e h and z n so we are going to get the ids of these users and once we get that then then we will display the profile picture and the date and the whatever you want to display it from the database okay whatever the information is available here so let's do that now how we can get these uh, ids so come here and here inside this own populate uh, populate view holder what we're gonna do we can say final string and we can call it as users id ids user ids that is there will be number of users get ref position dot get key and now by using the user reference now we are going to display the data of that friends so we can say users ref dot child users ids which is this one okay users ids so what it will do as you know that it is basically a recycle view so it will first it will get the, uh, this id and this id and this id and this id and i mean these four ids and then it will retrieve the profile picture the name from here i mean from this the, the users node as you know that this user node is linked to the user this user reference is linked to the users node so i hope you understand this and if you don't then don't worry when i run the app you will understand it more clearly than so then we can say add value event listener new value event listener and now make sure to put a semicolon here and inside this on data change we are going to say if data snapshot dot exist and then we are going to retrieve the username first so you can say uh, user name equals to data snapshot and the type of this username will be string sorry for that data snapshot dot child and we are going to retrieve the full name make sure to use the same name which is here inside our uh, user node and this is the full name 
dot get value dot to string the next one will be the profile image so you can copy this and we can pass that here so we can call it as a profile image and the name of this key is uh, profile image so we can say profile image okay make sure to use the same name profile and then image then we can say view holder dot set so first of all for that we are going to set the values here inside the static class friends view holder so here we can say so we have already wrote that code on the activity for the time saying we will copy that code from the find friends activity so go to the find friends activity and now come down here here we have this uh, public wide uh, public wide set profile image then set full name and then we have this okay just these two okay set profile image and set full name copy this from here and now go back to the friends activity and on our friends activity we are going to pass that here so yeah that's it and now what we're gonna do we are going as you know that all user profile image okay if i go here then this is the id of this one all user profile image that's why i copy the code from there because uh, this is already written so just for the time saving and then we have all user profile full name which is for the name okay all user profile full name and all user profile image now the next thing is to display the date so the date is uh, we are going how we can do that we can simply copy this set full name and we can pass that here and now uh, go back to the i mean to the module class when we say public white set that so copy this from here and now here instead of this we can pass that here okay and then uh, this is the dead so the this will this is the id for the status okay we are displaying this instead of this all user status okay so give this all user status id here all user status id here as you know that we are now going to display the debt instead of status so we can say debt my debt instead of that we can call it as my debt or friends debt will be good okay so i can set friends debt and now the next thing is that is here we can say friends dot dot set text to that so yeah that's it everything is okay now and now come here above to the public view holder and now here we can say view holder dot set full name to the username view holder dot set profile image get application context comma and it is the profile image so profile image now the next thing is uh, to set the debt so the debt for the debt what we're gonna do here above this string user ids here we can say view holder dot set debt model dot get that so yeah that's it now before we run the app go to the main activity and come down here so that whenever a user click on this uh, friends uh, button or you can say this friends option then we will redirect the user to the friends activity so for that come down here and here we have this user we have this method which is user menu selector and here uh, we have this nav friends option so first let's create a method for here uh, let's create a method to send the user to the friends uh, activity so i can simply pass that here and we will change it for the friends activity so you can say f r i e n d s friends activity and make sure to change this to friends 
activity dot class so we are on the main activity and we are sending the user to the friends activity and this is our method which is send user to friends activity now come here and instead of this login intent we can call it as friends intent and make sure to pass that here also so yeah we are ready to here we have this okay so we can say friend send user to friends activity now we have to uh, set the recycler adapter just one step left which is come here we have this method which is display all friends so now after this uh, semicolon i mean this curly brace in this semicolon we have to to write the my friend list dot set adapter to the firebase recycler adapter now yeah everything is okay now and when we display the that instead of just displaying the that here we can simply write that is friends f r i e n d s friends since and then the that so make sure to close this uh, column okay this i mean and then write this plus sign which is a con concatenation in java okay so the, we here uh, the friends since and then we are going to display the dead so make sure to write the same which i wrote here okay so now we are ready to run the app so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to and here we can click on this friends and now you can see that it is successfully displaying us the friend list so now i am friend with four people which I show you earlier in the database, the Firebase database. One is Mohammed Gulshar, Amon Ford, Mohammed Awishar, and Mohammed Awes. And if I show you here, then you can see that 37 O U E H Z N, and now you can check it 37 O U, okay, and this Amon Ford, and then uh, this is my account, which is GQ, okay, that is. This is the uh, sender and this is the receiver. I mean, this uh, Mohammed Ali is now friend with all these four people. Okay, so I explained this thing in the previous tutorial. Okay, when we were working on the friend list. So in this way, we have successfully retrieved all the friends. Now you can send uh, people. You can send friend request to other people, and when that person accepts your friend request, then the ID will appear here. Okay, that is you are friend uh, with that person. Okay, so all the new friends. And the old friend will appear here in the friend list. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if you want me to add more cool uh, functionalities related to the friends or to the post, then you can uh, let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please, please subscribe our channel, Coding Cafe. Thumbs up for this video. Take care of yourself and. Bye for now.